Why on earth are apple snails called apple snails? Are they shaped like apples? Or do they taste like apples? Stay tuned because the answer might surprise you. These little creatures have a lot more to them than meets the eye. Hi there, wild explorers! Welcome back to Breathe the Wild! Did you know these slimy little critters are some of nature's most fascinating creatures? Apple snails aren't just your average pond dwellers, they're aquatic superheroes. They play a crucial role in their ecosystems, helping to keep the water clean by eating algae and decaying matter. First up, let's talk about their size. Apple snails are huge, some can grow as big as a tennis ball. And guess what? They breathe two ways through gills and lungs, talk about versatility. This unique adaptation allows them to survive in a variety of environments from stagnant ponds to fast-flowing rivers. Imagine being able to breathe underwater and on land, like Aquaman, but, uh, slimier. And don't worry, they don't steal your apples, they're vegetarians. They munch on aquatic plants, which helps to control the growth of invasive plant species. But there's a catch apple snails are sneaky invaders in some parts of the world. They lay bright pink eggs above the waterline to keep predators away. And those eggs, they're packed with a toxin that says, back off, buddy. This makes them a bit of a double-edged sword. While they can be beneficial in their native habitats, they can cause problems when introduced to new environments. So why are they called apple snails? It's not the taste, phew, it's their round shape, like a shiny apple floating in the water. Mystery solved. These snails are truly remarkable with their unique adaptations and important role in the ecosystem. However, it's important to remember that introducing them to non-native environments can have serious consequences. Want more wild fun? Subscribe to Breathe the Wild 369. Don't forget to like, follow, and drop a comment. What's your favorite thing about apple snails? And if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, let us know. Until next time, keep exploring and stay wild.